pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. We're going to start today's episode off on Sherman Way and Darby Avenue. Hey guys, TVG here reporting from Reseda, California. As of today's recording, it's May 29th, 2023, at around 8 a.m. In today's episode, we're going to be focusing on going over to the Los Angeles National Cemetery. The Veterans Administration is holding a special event, a Memorial Day commemoration ceremony. It's Memorial Day, and so today's a very special day for us. I'm going to take you guys along. I don't know what we're going to find. I'm so excited. And it's such a privilege to be a part of this because this is a military armed forces cemetery and you've had to have a minimum, a minimum requirement of active military service and have honorable discharge. We honor all the men and women that lost their lives to preserve our freedoms. And remember, freedom is not free. The one consistent thing we had, no matter how bad things got, is our freedom. So we're gonna go to West Los Angeles, pay our respects for the fallen heroes. And it's my honor to attend the commemoration ceremony at the Los Angeles National Cemetery in West Los Angeles, California. Let's take a look and see what we can find. And to the Republic for which it stands, nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Where should I park? Follow that car there. He's going to make a right on Davis Street where the golf cart is. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm here at the Los Angeles National Cemetery. I mean, really, how exciting. It's going to be a big event, guys. Okay. Yeah. Well, I hope you're you doing? How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Would you uh, like some coffee question. and uh, some donuts to get started? Um, okay, I'll just walk around. Yeah. Right there. The Thank table. you very much. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're in. We got in, guys. I'm inside. Hello. That was a lot of fun. And there's a lot of. Uh, that's the entrance right there. That's where the ceremony is going to be, and this is where people are getting their donuts and coffee. Right here, donuts and coffee. How exciting, man. Everyone's all in their military garb. So I'm going to walk over to where the ceremony is going to be held. 
and uh, we could go around here. Morning, how are you? And uh, this is where the ceremony is. Yes. Is it fruit seating anywhere or a, no, a sign? A seating up front. A sign seating up front. So, okay, when do you think I should take a seat? 9.45-ish? Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Have a good time. I appreciate it. Guys, we got the band. The band, hello. This is awesome. News station. Eyewitness News, ABC showing up. We got a lot of action going on, guys. The band. This is really exciting. So that's where the ceremony is going to be. Thank you for your service. Okay guys, we're gonna head down we're gonna head down this way now to where the coffee is. I don't wanna take a seat for a couple of minutes here. This is where the, uh, the snacks are, guys. Let's take a look. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Um, good morning. You are amazing. And I'm having a good time. It's great. What I'll do, guys, I'll take a chocolate muffin and uh, we got a chocolate muffin. I'm going to do a chocolate muffin review. Chocolate muffin review at the Los Angeles National Cemetery. So we're going to go take a seat and get seated for the ceremony with my muffin. And uh, we got a lot of lots of stuff going on here, guys. Look at these guys. So uh, we're escorting people, you know, doing all the hard labor that nobody else wants to do. <laughs> they just said, "Oh, you give us one more." Let's get seated.
guys, I'm inside. I'm right near the stage. We're gonna wait for the ceremony to get started. I picked the seat in the back. So I'm gonna take a seat. I'm going to take my seat now and just wait for the ceremony to, com to commence and we'll take a look at some of this stuff we got, we got Air Force, Space Force, hello, check this out, Space Force, this is real guys, Space Force. Coast Guard, and we got Merchant Marine. I told you guys about the Merchant Marine. POW. Great job. Okay guys, I took a bite of the chocolate brownie. I'm gonna take another one. Just wait a second here. It's my first review, guys. 
All right, ready? It's excellent. I swear to God, best muffin. It couldn't be better. Incredible chocolate muffin. Right here at the Los Angeles National Cemetery. I ate the whole muffin, guys. One last piece. One last piece. That's it for today. Everyone is so friendly. Here. Shoot, I won't get in that picture. That's a unique picture right there. Just checking in, guys. I'm having a great time. Great people. And I'm meeting incredible people. What a good time, huh? who made the ultimate sacrifice. Post-COVID, we are back, and we're back in a big way. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you for joining us. We're going to get started here in just a second, folks. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a beautiful day today. Folks in the rear, if you could find your seats and uh, stand around, make sure the aisles are clear. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I thank you. I appreciate the fact that you're spending Memorial Day with us here in your Los Angeles National Cemetery. Yeah, give yourself a round of applause. You've earned it for being here with us. I'm Chaplain Doug Cohen. I proudly served as a chaplain during the Vietnam War. Uh, I now serve as a chaplain on board the USS Battleship Iowa and the SS Lane Victory. And I'm achieving 61 years of chaplaincy as we stand here. Honored to serve you as Chairman Emeritus of the Los Angeles National Cemetery Support Foundation and today is your Master of Ceremonies. Now, for our National Anthem, people always ask the question, and I want to make sure I give you the answer. Is it okay to salute if you are in civilian clothes? And the answer is yes. If you served your country, you may hand salute or you may place your hand over your heart. If you were not in service to your country, please place your hand over your heart as I ask you to stand and we welcome the presentation of colors by the mounted buffalo soldiers look behind you gentlemen present colors <laughs> for the singing of our national anthem we welcome Danielle Roy who was with us on Saturday with our scouts as we placed 90,000 flags on every gravesite Danielle oh see can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket thread glare the bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night 
that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the Please continue standing as we are led in the Pledge of Allegiance by two of our Los Angeles National Cemetery Support Foundation board members, Professor Sandra Caruso of UCLA and Dr. George Stanley from our cemetery board. Uh, please uh, salute or put your hand over your heart. Sandra, Dr. George, please lead us in the pledge. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'd like to welcome Father Tom Gibbons to our stage with an invocation. Please remain standing for another moment if you are able, and if not, please be seated. Good and gracious God, we come together today as people whose ancestors come from many different lands, as people who have many different experiences of the divine, and as people who refer to you with many different names, but who all share with one another the blessings that have been given to us by our fallen American servicemen. We come together in a spirit of gratitude for the ability to come together after such a long absence in this sacred space. A spirit of gratitude for the gift of over one million souls, the gift that one million souls have given to us in the sacrifice of their hopes, their dreams, their loves, the sacrifice of their very lives, so that we can continue this great experiment of American democracy. Their example of sacrifice reminds us of our need to sacrifice, in large ways and in small, in dramatic ways and in humble, so that we do our part in creating a more perfect union. We pray in the midst of our gratitude for the courage to live in a way that is worthy of their sacrifice. James, could you stand up for a moment, please? James has been there for me in helping our vets. I'd like to invite our honor detail for the POW MIA ceremony to approach the table that we have set up here on the table, on the desk. We have Colonel Steve Mistra, the VA uh, Executive Director of the PACT Act. Uh, our Director Timok Meza, President Glenn Schechter, and Ronnie Geyer, who is an Emmy Award winning Vietnam combat photographer and a Purple Heart recipient. Ronnie, come on up here. The glass is inverted because they cannot toast with us at this time. The chair is empty. They are not here. The candle is reminiscent of the light of hope, which lives in our hearts to illuminate their way home, away from their captors to the open arms of a grateful nation. The American flag reminds us that many of them may never return and have paid the supreme sacrifice to ensure our freedoms. Let us pray to the Supreme Commander that all of our comrades will soon be back within our ranks. And let us remember and never forget their sacrifice. This weekend is important to those of us at the Department of Veteran Affairs, especially at the National Cemetery Administration. Clearly, it is significant to all of you since you're dedicating time 
to honor our fallen service members today. As costly as these conflicts were, they're all in pale comparison to America's most devastating war. The war which led to the establishment of the National Cemeteries and Memorial Day itself. It was America's civil war, where more than, more than 650,000 Americans died on both sides. That is about equal to the total number of Americans to die in all other wars combined. Lincoln understood that the obligation America had to those who sacrificed so much in the Civil War to keep this nation united. He spoke of this in his 1865 in his second inaugural address shortly before he was assassinated. His final words in that speech urged Americans to care for veterans and ultimately led to the creation of the Veterans Administration now known as the Department of Veteran Affairs. Our VA's mission statement is based upon President Lincoln's commitment to our nation after the devastating Civil War. To fulfill President Lincoln's promise to care for those who have served in our nation's military for their caregivers, families, and survivors. Every day, your VA, our VA, is fighting like hell for veterans. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting veterans and their families. And thank you for honoring those who made the ultimate sacrifice. May God bless you, our service members, and the United States of America. Okay. I'd like to invite Daniel Roy back to our stage for a wonderful rendition of America the Beautiful. Danielle? I would like to take another moment to thank all of our veterans that are here serving. Uh, or for all of our active duty, our veterans who have served in the past. My three uh, veteran siblings, Amber Standridge, U.S. Coast Guard, Johnny Standridge, U.S. Navy, and Mike Standridge, United States Marine Corps. I'm here accompanied by my husband, thank you, Jamison Roy. Thank you for being here today.
to ask all of the participants in the wreaths of hope and peace gold star mothers and gold star wives by gail johnson roth whose son and husband are interred here with us her with her nicole cagle u.s air force and grandson jackson and veteran ken mandel and his wife marlin escorted by patty wang he is a sag after military and veterans affairs member Timmy Meza, our director, and Colonel Steve Misko will be escorted by Cedric Thomas, the LANC Administrative Officer. United States Army, Jim Zenner, Director of LA County Military Veterans Affairs, and Vietnam Medical Officer Shad Mishad, Founder and CEO of National Veterans Foundation, and Joe Leal, Founder and CEO of Hunter, Vet Hunters Project, and Charles O. Green, the site manager of Sepulveda Ambulatory Care Center. U.S. Marines by Monfred Point Marine Michael Johnson and Darnell Farr, Korean War veteran, escorted by John Gutierrez, the vice president of our foundation. United States Navy by Robert Merchant, the Greater Los Angeles Healthcare System Inter Interim Director and David Canfield, the Chief Information Officer of the USS Battleship Iowa. The City of Los Angeles by Mayor Karen Bass, escorted by a whole bunch of people. <laughs> City Council, District 5, Katie Yaroslavsky, escorted by District Rep Ellen Zipper. We have someone with us today who served the 47th District California Assembly the 67th Speaker of the California Assembly, and was named Speaker Emeritus. Mayor Bass served the 33rd Congressional District, the 37th Congressional District, and in 222. 2022, she was elected the 43rd Mayor of Los Angeles. We welcome, for the very first time, as Los Angeles Mayor, the Honorable Mayor Karen Bass. Good morning, everyone. It is my honor to be here with you today. This Memorial Day, at 155 national cemeteries across the nation, people are coming together to honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice. And I am so honored to join all of you here at our Los Angeles National Cemetery. I stand here also as the proud daughter of a veteran. <laughs> My father was a member of the greatest generation. He served during World War II in the Coast Guard. And I know that although he is no longer with me and with us, that I know he is looking down at amazement that his daughter would be standing here honoring him and all of the other men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. I want to recognize the leaders here today, both local and from Sacramento, our city council. Oh.
was quite an honor, wasn't that? <laughs> Amazing. I want to acknowledge my colleagues, our city council member from the area right here, Katie Yaroslawski. Our state senator, Ben Allen. And former congresswoman who represented this area for many, many years, Congresswoman Diane Watson. Yeah. I also want to welcome and thank the members of the Los Angeles Council of Corps. Thank you to all of you for joining us, to the veterans and those currently serving our nation who are here today. Thank you for your service. During my years in Congress, I had the opportunity to serve alongside many members of every branch of our military. I traveled the world with our military and just with incredible respect at the service that the men and women have and give to our country. I want to thank Angelinos who work hard to keep those sacred grounds a reflection of our gratitude to those who lay here. Thank you for your continued work. Today is a day for us to remember all who have served, those who died on the front lines of war and those who died unhoused on our streets after returning home from serving this country. One thing is clear, our gratitude can never match the sacrifice that they made. And it is incumbent upon all of us to make sure that no veteran, no veteran sleeps on the streets of our country. Amen. I am very confident that our VA Secretary, Dennis McDonough, is going to do whatever he can to change some of the rules and regulations that actually keep veterans unhoused, where they have to choose between their veterans' benefits or a roof over their heads. In some cases, the veteran benefits themselves disqualify them from housing, and I'm convinced as our representative here from the VA, that we will do whatever it takes to change those rules so here, that here. our veterans are never, ever treated that way again. Here, here. We can honor our veterans through action. We can bring their spirit to bear. We can serve. We can join arms and together work to make our city and country better for everyone. And so I encourage all Angelinos to think about our charge this Memorial Day. Let's honor the courage and sacrifice of our service members and take action ourselves. Let's be there for our veterans like they have been there for us. Thank you so much. Our veterans are not homeless. They have a home. It's called the United States of America. They just don't have a house. I know you're doing a lot to fix that. Okay. Um, please join us as we make a rousing sound with God bless America.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. We pray that you give us the gift of memory and of resolution so that we will not forget them or forsake them and that together into the future we will make this indeed America the beautiful, the land for which they gave their lives, the land that we love. Amen. Please, if you have the time or can make the time, walk across the street or drive across and visit the National Cemetery. I thank you. I thank our clergy. We hope to see you here next year on May 27th, Memorial Day 2024. Thank you for coming. Be safe. Drive home safely. And come back to the L.A. National Cemetery. Show's over, guys. It was amazing. Great show. Great people. Great event. Agreed. Happy to be here. Agreed. over here so the service was on the other side of the 405 freeway and if you see Sepulveda we're on the other side now we're on this side this is where this is where the cemetery is if you could look there's Sunset Boulevard right here so right outside the freeway it's a huge property, huge. And as you can see, it's right outside Westwood, California. See those buildings? That's Westwood. So it's Wilshire Boulevard. You have Wilshire Boulevard. That's Westwood. And this is the Los Angeles National Cemetery. for today's episode if you like this video please give it an old thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're not already and share it with a friend if possible thanks for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one tvg out i pledge allegiance to the flag of the united states of america and to the republic for which it stands one nation under god indivisible with liberty and justice for all. USA!